hypertension is uh, an overwhelming uh, matter occurring in our community. We should follow the guidelines. We have different guidelines. We have European guidelines. We have American guidelines, Canadian guidelines. And we, uh, if you follow the guidelines to know the goals and of the, uh, the blood pressure numbers that uh, the patients uh, at uh, when they should be treated and uh, for how low we should go for those patients. Uh, in uh, 2017, the American Heart, uh, American Heart Association, the American College of Cardiology and, uh, and uh, the American Society of Hypertension, they stated that we should go in all cases of hypertension below 130 systolic and 80 diastolic and most of the patients have atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and uh, in patients who have diabetes as diabetes is one of the uh, very high risk factors for cardiovascular disease in patients with chronic kidney disease with patients with stable ischemic heart disease patients with peripheral arterial disease those patients should uh, be uh, at less than 130 systolic and 80 diastolic uh, millimeter mercury in blood pressure because the, the, because those patients are at high risk of cardiovascular uh, morbidity and mortality reducing uh, the blood pressure to these numbers can prevent many deaths from cardiovascular disease. Uh, the second point is the uh, combination therapy. All the guidelines insist and they say that we have to uh, uh, we have to starting with combination therapy, ACE inhibitors plus calcium channel blockers or angiotensin receptor blockers plus uh, 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 calcium uh, antagonists like dihydropyridines, adding on thiazides from the beginning, and not to wait uh, for weeks or months to try a monotherapy. Because if you try a monotherapy from the beginning, and after that you find that blood pressure is not at goal, you you will have uh, a bad situation with your patient because you stated that we will we'll try. Why you try, why you don't begin from the beginning to have a combination therapy to uh, control your blood pressure. This is what we call clinical inertia and we should not have this clinical inertia. We have to start uh, early with combination therapy and if we find that your patient is not controlled by monotherapy or by, uh, by drugs, you have to make three drugs in order to reach your goals. Uh, the third point for patients with, uh, heart, with hypertension, you have to uh, insist on lifestyle modifications like reducing salt in food you have to, uh, to provoke the exercise and you have to insist for those patients to reduce their weights because reducing weight, reducing the salt, reducing exercise, you have a beneficial effect on the, uh, reducing the blood pressure, systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Uh, the complication of uh, hypertension is many. They have uh, we, what we call the target organ damage. This target organ damage you have to search for the target organ damage among those patients by uh, making um, ECG or echocardiography in order to detect the left ventricular hypertrophy, which one of the most important uh, early uh, target organ damage. Also, uh, albuminuria. You, 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 you have to test the 24 hour albumin and the urine because this is one of the important target organ damage that occurring early in hypertensive patients, even in the pre-hypertensive patients. You have to measure the e glomerular filtration rate because this is one of the most important target organ damage on those patients. If you detect all these patients, you shift those patients from a category uh, of the prehypertension to a very high risk in patients in hypertension, and this is why we have to search for target organ damage. Thank you.